Hi guys, um, this is something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while, um, for my own computer, not even for just for YouTube. But I finally, after like, I don't know how long of wanting to get it, um, got the Alcars uh, Star Trek TNG desktop for Windows 7. So um, up here is where the star date would obviously be if, if this were Star Trek. Um, there is the battery indicator. I believe reserve power is whether it's plugged in or not, but I haven't uh, haven't tried that yet. Start up. Don't close that because uh, I learned the hard way that when you close that, not only does it completely log out of L cars, it doesn't restore your um, regular Windows 7, so there's no taskbar, no nothing, you have to restart the whole laptop like over again. Um, so there is my computer, settings, engineering, photo viewer, and at the bottom there's the start menu where there's you know accessories, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Blackberry was from when um, there was Blackberry desktop from when I had a Blackberry. I'm using an iPhone now. Uh, Dropbox, my YouTube converter, games, GIMP, um, the photo editor, Google Chrome, iTunes, that kind of thing. And then there is desktop files, so all the ones that you have the icons on your desktop. So for me that's um, like Minecraft, Photoshop, that kind of thing, uh, and things that I've only saved the desktop and not my documents or anywhere else. Then there's documents, pictures, music, etc. Um, yeah. What? Uh, and if you have got more than fits in the thing, there is the pages. So uh, paint or side, which is what I used to draw, Photoshop, QuickTime, uh, Trust, which is the tablet. Uh, a company that I use, I haven't got a Wacom or anything that fancy, um, Windows Live, uh, Photoshop Elements, which I don't use very often, RuneScape, because I used to play RuneScape a lot, and uh, finally the XPS Viewer, uh, back to page one. Um, there's of course the Federation of Planets logo in the centre, um, this main area here is generally like the window so if i were to open google chrome for instance um i've got a weird theme on at the moment it's like blue so that i'm gonna have to remove that because it doesn't go um all that well with the alcars theme so i'll probably just get rid of that and see so it's the blue like um up here all the way along the top um but that is where like windows will open so that's for instance where the internet one is and if i were to go and open uh, let's have a look. What should we open? Hypercam only comes up as a small thing, we don't want that. Uh, where's all the Microsoft? We don't want Windows Movie Maker. I'll open Paint Tool Sci instead. So at the top is where there's the startup, there's now Google Chrome. And then there's Sai, which is the art program I use to do my drawing, so you can just flip between the two like you would on a regular computer. So that works out pretty well, and if you want to close them, like I'll close Sai now, that's how you do that. Um, yeah. Uh, I know that my YouTube is mostly full of um, speed paints and such, but I figured that this would be kind of cool because I know that a lot of people don't realise that this actually works for Windows 7 because um, when you go to the LCARS website, a lot of people get kind of thrown off by the, um, so if we click download, uh, by the incremental build, so um, things that aren't finished basically, or not necessarily not finished, but uh, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, most people tend to go for the stable release because it's tested and community approved, so you know, but that works on a 32 bit as opposed to a 64 bit uh, system. So that one, uh, unless you change your computer back to uh, 32 bit in the control panel, but I find that compromises things for me, especially when using Photoshop and such. So uh, I use the incremental build. The one that I used is just this top one here. Uh, I downloaded it, saved it into my documents, 
So we'll open my, my documents now. I found that opening things is a little bit slower when using this. See, that took like kind of a while. Uh, it's saved as a file called incremental build, so that'll be just with the rest of your folders. And all you gotta do is look for the Elcars. Look for the one that's got .exe on the end because that's generally like an application type file. Um, yeah, I think it's the Elcars launcher one. So the one that I showed you at the very beginning, I used it as a shortcut on my desktop, whereas you can access it if you just keep it in the um, in the file that wherever you save it. You can save it to desktop immediately, but mine went into my documents. So um, yeah, I'm not sure that was really a tutorial of how to download it, considering I'm already running it. You can see around the edges. Um, my laptop's nothing special. It's just you know a regular Packard Bell type thing. So. You don't need particularly high specs to run this, which is cool. And I do believe to deactivate it, you just hit the deactivate button there. See, this takes a... It's not like overly long. A bit longer than it would for most other things. There we go. Uh, close L cars. So you can log off, um, restart and shut down if you were on any other kind of... And there you go, back to your regular taskbar, etc. for Windows 7. So, uh, that's the shortcut that I was telling you about. But if you go into documents normally, so I can show you, so it's not already in the L cars, uh, it came up as the incremental build. And I, I just use the, oh, it's L cars main, not launcher. Um, L cars main.exe. Just open up that file. As you can see, I made a shortcut, which some for some reason stayed in there as well as on the desktop, but you just go ahead and double-click that. Give it a moment, and you're all up and running. All your menu, etc. is there. All good. So, sorry this video went on for a really long time, but um, I hope somebody, somebody found it useful somewhere. So, um, yeah, thanks guys. Bye!